Hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Analytics in your spreadsheet spread shop. Also at the end, I will share a tip on how you can increase the profit per sale from your spreadsheet design or you can say selling your own spreadsheet. So make sure you watch the video till the end. So without any further delay, let's get started. So Spreadshirt is a platform where you can sell uh, print on demand t-shirts mostly uh, you know mostly in the clothing category and uh, you get decent amount of sales if you have enough designs and uh, it is always better to have some income rather than having none at all so that's why I usually you know spend some time uh, uploading the, the designs on this platform another thing that you have to do uh, on this spread, uh, shirt pla uh, Spreadshirt platform is that you get a specific shop uh, you are allowed to sell your designs on the Spreadshirt marketplace but also in addition to that you can get a customized shop as well a shop page a shop URL so it can help you uh, market your designs uh, more specifically uh, through social media platforms and um, for that purpose you need to know uh, the different analytics where your traffic is coming from which pages are being viewed and which uh, products are you know getting sold uh, from which sources uh, maybe you are sh sharing it on in uh, Instagram or through Facebook fan page or maybe you are sharing it on Pinterest so it is always uh, good uh, to know where your traffic is coming from and for that purpose you can integrate Google Analytics into your spread shop and let me show you how you can do it so first of all uh, you need to uh, log in into your spreadsheet account and then you need to log in into google analytics if you al already not have any uh, google analytics account it is easy you can simply create a new account in google analytics and once you log in into your google analytics account uh, you might see something like that if you already have um, you know google analytics enabled for some other for your own site for your own blog maybe for redbubble for t public uh, so you might see some kind of data here uh, uh, something like that a page something like that so in order to add a new site or new a platform as we are about to add a spreadsheet our spread shop onto the google analytics so for that purpose on the left and the, towards the bottom you need to go to the uh, admin section this gear icon and there will be an admin section so you should uh, click on this admin button and that will take you to this uh, different uh, slightly different page on this side uh, under the admin tab you ha uh, have this option of create a new account you don't go to the user go to the admin and click create new account after clicking create new account you need to name your account as we are uh, you know uh, applying for a spreadsheet analytics integration so uh, let me uh, just put it spread shirt or spread shop more precisely so this is the name of the account then the, these check boxes you can uh, just keep them uh, as it as as a default option and then you next plus next after that uh, what do you want to measure web apps or web and apps i think we need to uh, measure the web so and then we press next under website name uh, again it is going to be the same uh, name as uh, I have previously mentioned so spread shop so in this uh, website URL you can copy your spread shop URL in here and uh, then you can go and click create so let me copy that and uh, let me show you how you can find that URL and then copy it so I'll go back to the spread shirt and on this section uh, on the left hand side you will see at this green heart and if you hover over your mouse wire you will find uh, uh, that it is a showroom that is a marketplace showroom and then there is a shop so you will click the shop and there you will find the url so in this under the general tab and then under the shop name and seo data you are going to find that url link so under these uh, names and description and a uh, url and all that you will find this url preview and uh, you can simply copy it and then paste it into this google analytics section okay then the next is uh, reporting time zone i think uh, the uh, standard uh, option is uh, okay so let's go and then create 
I'll have to accept these terms and condition and accept these all the rest of the things. So I'll just accept it. And then it is going to give you uh, this global site tag, this some kind of uh, script. And then at the top there will be a uh, tracking ID, which uh, will start with U, A, and then some numbers. So you need to copy this tracking ID and paste it into that spreadshop section, and which I'm going to show you in a moment. So I'll just copy it, go to the shop settings again, and then in the marketing section, I'll, uh, and in marketing in web analytics, under this Google Analytics, I'll check this Google Analytics and then already they have a box open where I can put that code, that tracking code that I've got from the Google Analytics. So I'll just paste it here. You need to have to actually uh, click on this apply changes here. After that, you are good to go and you will be able to see, start seeing uh, some kind of uh, data in your Google Analytics, um, you can say the home page. If I go back to the, I think I don't have to do anything else here. Yes, I don't have to do anything else here. So I'll go back to the home analytics page, and in that you will be able to uh, see the, you can say the data. Uh, as I were at the top, you can see that our website data from Spreadshop is coming. And it is currently zero because I have just created it. Uh, but after 24 hours or something like that, you will be able to see some data and uh, you can uh, have to uh, you will be able to analyze it so uh, that's how easy it is to integrate google analytics into your spread shop also you can use uh, google analytics for your red bubble and for tea public as well if you want me to create a videos for those as well let me know and i'll create a video for those platforms as well and hopefully you have found this video to be useful and now it is time for the final tip as i have promised to show you how you can increase the profit per sale from your spreadsheet uh, selling on spreadsheet so let me go back to the spreadsheet let me go to the uh, design section so in the under the design section you have different design available and on this area sales channel chosen if you already have created a spread shop a specific shop for your um, you know for a brand or something like that and under the marketplace you will, uh, next to this rocket you will be able to see that in the name of the shop will be mentioned and you will be able to uh, you can say that guide your uh, traffic towards a specific shop instead of the marketplace so for that purpose you can click on this arrow for any specific design so click on that arrow and it will open up uh, the design and then the sharing pages for that previously spreadsheet allowed you to ha have a you know a specific percentage a specific number of um, you can say that commission that you might get from that but uh, later on they have changed it but still you can get a decent amount of commission from that by sharing uh, your designs on pinterest on um, social media platforms like um, Instagram so for that purpose here is the tip so instead of a marketplace preview do not go into the marketplace preview for any specific design and for the uh, purpose of sharing that design on charts uh, uh, to, to the your audience go to the and name of the as your name of the shop will be mentioned here and then under the click on this preview once you click on this preview you will go to this design and that that URL will be uh, you can say the link to your spread shop instead of the marketplace of the spread chart. So if you share your URL from your spread shop on Pinterest, on Instagram, on Facebook or any other platforms, you will get more profit per sale as compared to the sales that are coming from the marketplace itself. So a sale coming from your uh, spread shop will give you more profit as compared to the sale coming from the spreadsheet, uh, spreadsheet platform or spreadsheet marketplace. So always share URLs or share uh, t-shirts or designs on spreadsheet from your own shop to the Pinterest or uh, Instagram or Facebook. So this was the tip and hopefully you have found this video to be useful. If so, make sure that you like the video and uh, if you are interested in earning a decent living online and generating a specific source uh, specific not specific passive source of income through online make sure that you subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching